morning everyone welcome to narayana online video classes today for seventh class students we are going to discuss logarithms it is a new topic for us today and the logarithms what we are going to discuss today today we are going to define the logarithm what is the definition of logarithm next we are going to see what are the different types of logarithms we have these two things we are going to discuss in today's class and few problems based on these two concepts we are going to solve now how do you define a logarithm if you look at that if a comma n belongs to r plus r plus stands for positive real numbers comma a not equal to 1 a should not be unity x is any real number there is no restriction on x x can take any real value positive or negative even 0 is also possible value for x such that a power x is n then x is said to be logarithm of n to the base a okay now what is the meaning of it if you have an exponential form a power x as n a raised to the power x here a is called as a base x is the exponent and n is the value obtained by raising a to the power x okay now what is the value of x to get the value of x, we have to use logarithm to the base, n logarithm of n to the base a, where n is the argument and a is the base. Okay. Now, this is very important to note. This conversion is very important to note. If at all you have a power x as n, then x is said to be logarithm of n to the base a. Instead of writing the entire word logarithm, we will try to write it as LOZ. LOZ stands for logarithm of, okay. logarithm of n to the base a. This is how we can define a logarithm. Now, we will see few examples wherein how to convert an exponential form to a logarithmic form. Let us write exponential form and here logarithmic form. Suppose you have 2 to the power of 4 as 16. So, what is the logarithmic form of it? It implies 4 is said to be logarithm of 16 to the base 2. If you take 2 to the power of minus 3, that is going to be 2 to the power of minus 3 is 1 by 2 cube, that is 1 by 8. It implies minus 3 is said to be logarithm of 1 by 8 to the base 2. If you take 100, we have 10 cube is equal to 1000. It implies we can say 3 is equal to log 1000 to the base 10. Okay. Now, this is how we have an exponential form and logarithmic form will be converted in this following way. Now, if you look at these examples, either you take 16 or you take 1 by 8 or you take 1000. Here, of course, it is 4, it is minus 3. Even the logarithmic value is negative, but if you look at the arguments, in every case, the arguments are positive real numbers. Nowhere will have the argument as negative real number, even 0 is not valid. So that we can conclude a point over here, logarithms are defined only for positive real numbers. They are not defined as negative real numbers or even 0. Only for positive real numbers it is accepted. That is very, very important point to note down. Fine. Now, <coughs> If you look at a to the power of x is equal to n, okay. a power x is n, in this case x is a unique value. What is the meaning of unique value? Suppose if you have example let us take 3 square is equal to 9, 3 square value is 9, 3 square is 9. So to get 9, we have to raise the base to the power 2, that is all. So, if you want to get the same 9 with the same 3, I cannot use another exponent, I, can, I cannot take another power. So, 2 is the only value in such a way that 3 square is 9, that is the uniqueness. So, that we can say x is equal to log into the base is also unique. If a power x is n, where x is unique, one and only one x existing in such a way that a power x is n, similar way. If x, x is equal to log n to the base a means 
argument as well as base are same, then x cannot take more than one value. That is what we call as uniqueness. This is very important property. Fine, next. We have a power x as n. Of course, we can write it as x is equal to logarithm of n to the base a. a power x is n. Now, let us try to write this particular x value again in place of x. Therefore, we are going to get one very, very important property. What is that? a to the power of log n base a is always equal to n. Very, very standard result and very useful result in solving the problems. a to the power of log n to the base a is equal to n. Okay. So, here if base and base of the logarithm both are same, then the resultant answer is nothing but the argument of the logarithm. Okay. Example, if you take 3 to the power of log 5 to the base 3, see what is, the, what is to be observed? Base as well as base of the logarithm must be same. Then the answer, of, answer is equivalent to the argument of logarithm. Whatever argument you have for the logarithm, the same will be the resultant answer over here. That is, a, that is a formula of a to the power of log n base a is equal to n. Very important formula to note. Fine. Now, suppose you have e power x is equal to n. a power x is n. Let us take x is equal to 1. Then what do you have? a power 1 is equal to n. Isn't it? Therefore, we can say a power 1 is a. That implies a power 1 is a. That implies 1 is equal to log a to the base a. Okay? As a power 1 is a, we can conclude 1 is equal to log a to the base a. Anyway, while defining the logarithm itself, we are saying the base a should not be 1. So, here it is not valid if a is 1. So, log 1 base 1 is not valid. Okay? Now, that is very important point. So, what is the conclusion here? logarithm of a number to the same base is always equal to 1 and restriction is that only one thing the base should not be 1, a should not be 1, that is the only restriction. For rest of the values it is valid. Log 10 to the base 10, 1. Log 100 to the base 100, 1. We can, we can take in any way, any positive real value a except a is equal to 1. This is very, another important, very important formula. Okay? Then, then. Okay, now we will see few problems based on this. Then we will move to uh, certain uh, different types of logarithms. Okay, now uh, one example let us take. Example if log x base 3 is equal to 2, then find x. Of course, it is a simple question simple question based on the definition. So, how do you write it? Solution log x base 3 is equal to 2, it implies, so if a power x is n, we are saying x is logarithm of n to the base a, reverse process. In reverse way, if you go, go there, like x can become 3 to the power of 2, that is equal to 9. So, the value of x is 9. Next, find the value of, second question, find the value of log 0 0.0001 to the base 10. What is the value of it? Okay. Now, solution let us start like this. Let us take x is equal to log 0 0.0001 to the base 10. Okay. Now, according to the definition, we can say 10 to the power of x is equal to 0 0.0001. That is otherwise 10 to the power of x is equal to 0 0.0001 is nothing but 1 upon 10,000. That is 1 upon 10 power 4. So, I can write it as 1 upon 10 power 4. That is otherwise 10 power x is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4. Okay? 10 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of minus 4. Therefore, I can say x is minus 4. Here we have equality of two exp exponents with the same basis, thereby we can make equal the powers. That is, x is equal to minus 4. If a power m is a power n, then we can say m is equal to n. So, using that concept, 
we can say x is equal to minus 4. Fine? Now, <coughs> another important property, we have one more property to discuss, then we will see the types, then we will do more number of problems. Next, suppose let us take 2 power 6, what is the value of 2 power 6? That is our 464. We have 4 cube, that is also 64. We have 8 square, that is also 64. We have 64 power 1, that is also 64. If you look at that, 2 power 6 is 64, 4 cube is 64, 8 square is 64, 64 power 1 is also 64. Now, let us write it in logarithmic form. So, 2 power 6 is 64, then 6 is equal to log 64 to the base 2. Here also, 3 is equal to log 64 to the base 4. If you take here, 2 is equal to log 64 to the base 8 implies here if you take 1 is equal to log 64 to the base 64. So what is observation here? If you look at the argument, argument is same in every case. Argument is same in every case 64, 64. But if you look at the bases, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8 and this is 64. There are different bases. Whenever you have the same argument with different bases, the resultant answers are also different. See. 64 to the base 2 is 6, 64 to the base 4 is 3, 64 to the base 8 is 2, 64 to the base 64 is 1. So what is the conclusion here? Logarithms of the same numbers with different bases are different. Logarithms of the same numbers with different bases are different. That is very important property to note down, right? Now, we will see what are the different types of logarithms we have. Okay. The first one is common logarithms. Okay. What are common logarithms? Logarithms with base as 10 like log 15 to the base 10 or log x to the base 10. Base is 10. In that case, we call it as a common logarithm. Fine. Generally, while doing calculation part, we make use of these kind of logarithms. Okay. What is the other name? There is another name for this. What is the other name? The mathematician who developed this concept. Okay. That is Henry Briggs. He is an English mathematician. Based on his name, it is named after Briggs logarithm. B R I G G S. Briggs logarithms is other name for common logarithm. Fine. Now we have the second type that is natural logarithms. What are logarithms? What are natural logarithms? The logarithms with base as e. What is e? e as in e is an irrational number which lies between 2 and 3. It is something around 2.713 something like that. It is an irrational number which lies between 2 and 3 approximated to 2.713. Fine. Now we have e as 2.713. How do you get e? We have an exponential notation for x. e power x is given as 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so on. It is an infinite series. If you place x as 1, e power n is going to be 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus so on. If you sum up this entire value, that is going to be approximated to 2.713. Okay? This is an irrational number like pi. Pi and d are irrational numbers. Now, a log 7 to the base e is said to be a natural logarithm. Even this can be sometimes represented as ln 7. ln 7, if he is mentioning, clearly the base is e. ln 7 he is mentioned. Fine. So, as common logarithms is uh, named after uh, English mathematician Henry Briggs, even here, natural logarithms are also named after another mathematician, John Napier. So, it is otherwise called as Napierian logarithms. Napier is the name of the mathematician. Napierian logarithms is the other name given to natural logarithms. Now, there is third kind. What is third kind? Suppose you have base as 10, we are calling as common logarithms. If you have base as e, we are calling as natural logarithms. If you have any other number other than e and 10 as the base, that is called as a, uh, we have to call it as compound logarithm. Okay? Now, 
we'll see few problems on that. Third one is, as I told you, compound logger. So bases are the, like log three to the base two, or log five to the base six, something like that, which is the base is not e as well as ten. Okay. Now we'll see few more problems. Find the value of x. Find x if log 216 to the base root 6 is equal to x. Okay? Log 216 to the base root 6 is equal to x. Then he is asking us to find out the value of x. So you should not start with x is equal to log 216 to the base 6 base root 6, then by the definition of logarithm we can write it as root 6 to the power of x is equal to 216. So if your root 6 can be written as 6 to the power of 1 by 2. So 6 to the power of 1 by 2 whole power x that is 6 to the power of x by 2. So we can write it as 6 to the power of x by 2 that is 216 is nothing but 6 cube. 6 into 6 into 6 is going to give you 216. That implies that the bases are equal, x by 2 can be equated to 3, then x is equal to 6. So, for x is equal to 6, log 216 base root 16, okay? The, the value of log 216 to the base root 6 is going to give you the answer as 6. Now, next problem. The value of x log 3 root 3 to the base 27 is equal to x. Similar kind of problem. If log 3 root 3 to the base 27 is given as x, what is x? Solution the same way. Log 3 root 3 to the base 27 is x. According to the definition of logarithm, we can say 3 root 3 is equal to 27 to the power of x. That is otherwise 3 into root 3 is nothing but 3 to the power of 3 by 2. That is going to be 27 to the power of x. It is going to be 27 is 3 cube. So 3 cube whole power x. That is 3 to the power of 3x. Therefore, as the bases are equal, 3 by 2 can be equated to 3x. That is 3, 3 cancel. So x is equal to 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is the answer for this particular question. Is it fine? So that is what we have learned today. The definition of logarithm as well as what are the different types of logarithms and the and few problems based on uh, these two concepts. Tomorrow we are going to observe few more properties related to logarithms. Okay.